Yes guys, Directed by David Rees here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create this sick Polaroid transition within Premiere Pro and Photoshop. Now realistically you want to create this effect when you pretty much finish your video to be honest so you have some clips already laid up. So here's just some clips from a music video that I shot a while back and all we're going to do is we're going to scroll through and just take some screenshots so to do that we're just going to scroll and we're going to come up to this camera icon next port frame and we're going to save it where we want to just save them so there we've made our three screenshots now we're going to head over and we're going to make a new file and we want to make this 4k so here are the settings for 4k that I do use um, or you can just use it with your, your image like you can just import your image if you want to do that instead let's just make a new canvas and let's open our images so you can hold command and then just click on them all if you want to and it'll open all three of them up so we're just gonna command C and command V and paste these over and delete them and I suggest maybe making one more screenshot of just what's going to be the background and we're going to use this as the background so we're going to drag that onto the bottom now what we want to do is you want to select whichever layer so let's just hide these and use like you can layer it you can name them if you want so we can just go background for this one and we can just put the lock on it so we know it's going to do anything and this one we can just call photo one if we want to just to make it a bit more organized come over to file open polaroid pack and as you can see guys there's all sorts of polaroids in here all different ones I think I'm gonna go with this one, number 20. I'm just gonna copy that, and paste that on like so. So now what we're gonna do is just fit our image into this. As you can see, if we just turn our background layer off, the image is leaking over a little bit, but that doesn't matter. What we can do now is just, we can do this any way you want. So we can just use the pen tool and we can just draw around the box. Come over to selection, make selection, yes. And then, and then we're just gonna delete the background. Once we've done that we can then make our layer into a smart object and if we bring on the background again as you can see our Polaroid is in there nicely. What you can do now is you can rather keep them the image the same to match the video or you can maybe go with a black and white theme um, to match the Polaroid so we're going to do that now so we're going to come up to filter and then camera or filter and this is really going to depend on your image. Go to color and bring down the vibrance. Keep the saturation there I think. Now we're just going to hold T on our keyboard and we're just going to make a text layer like so. We're just going to call this something like artists, artist name. I'll just use like a normal font for this one so you can, you can see it but you can use whatever font you want. Keep it with black, come over to artist name on the right and then we're going to click blending options. And now on blending options here, we're going to click this one, hold option to split it in half and then we're going to drag this down so that the text color blends, as you can see, blends into the Polaroid. And there we are, that's our first Polaroid done. Really easy. We can then group them together and then we can move this around. So we're gonna keep that one there. And now what we're gonna do again is we're just gonna hold Command J to copy it and then hide that one. And then we're just gonna move this one over and we're just gonna change the image inside this image. Put it here, make it smaller, put it into our Polaroid like so. Then we're just gonna delete the background, convert it to a smart object. And then what you can do as well is you can hit this arrow, double click camera roll, and then just simply Command and C, which will copy all the effects you've done on that camera roll. You can come to this one and go to filter, camera roll filter again, and then just Command V, and then it'll paste the effect from the other camera roll to that one. So now if we put that one on, they match together nicely. We're gonna do it again, and we're gonna copy this one by holding Command J, and then we're gonna move this one over, and we're gonna move this one behind the middle one. Try and get it to fit in the Polaroid. So again, just delete this background, convert it to a smart object, come up to filter again. And because you've already copied it from the last camera roll filter, just paste it on again and press OK. So that's a really simple way on how to create those Polaroids. So now what you want to do is you want to hide these and export them one by one. So we're just going to export this one as a PNG, head over to Premiere, double click on your project panel and then import all these. So we imported them, drag them onto your timeline. I'm gonna zoom in. And we're gonna create these for a couple of frames. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, make a cut, grab the other one, one, two, three, four, make a cut, and then the last one, one, two, three, four. Extend them a bit more, and then we're gonna bring them out at different times. So this can be random, doesn't really matter. So there we go, guys. That's the Polaroids. So once you've done that, as you can see, 
it still needs a bit of something. It still is not quite smooth, but it does look cool and definitely does fit this style of video. So what we can do is we can create an adjustment layer and then drag that over, make sure all this cut down. And then when our first Polaroid starts, we can come over to effects and let's type in flash. You can use your own flashes if you want. These are just the ones that I've done. So I'll be using these. And we're just gonna go with a simple flash. And we're gonna drag that on. Come down to the keyframes just to make sure you can match it up perfectly. Select them all and go into the middle. So there we have a nice zoom in flash. So now we're just gonna hold option on our keyboard and drag this one over so that when it ends, we can match these up. So again, you can highlight them all or match them up on the timeline, it's completely up to you, whichever's easier for you. So there we've got a bit more of an energetic kind of feel to them. Now we're gonna click on the Polaroids themselves and we're gonna come over and we're gonna type in transform. This is gonna make you be able to move them and animate them a bit more. So we're gonna come to scale, hit the keyframe at the start, come to the end and hit scale. And then we're just gonna increase the scale by say go with 110. And let's go a bit more actually, let's go just for the sake of this video, maybe like 120. Scale that over. We're gonna hit rotation as well and we're gonna rotate just a little bit. And now we should have as you can see the one on the right hand side if we just hide these moving which looks a lot better again we're going to come over and we're going to type in transform again bring it on to the next one same again we can create a keyframe at the start keyframe at the end increase the size to whatever you want and let's do one with a rotation as well so we're going to rotate this now we should have it looks a lot better than what we had before as you can see and then again on the last one we're going to go to effects type in Transform, drag transform on again. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna put make a keyframe for scale, increase the scale. Same with rotation. So guys, I hope you did enjoy the video on how to create these Polaroid transitions within Photoshop and Premiere Pro. They're really cool to use in your music videos, especially the underground type of videos. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one guys.